This video is provided as supplementary material for courses taught at Howard Community College. And this video is going to be an introduction to probability. So let's do some examples with this die. I've got a die. It's a cube. It's got six sides. There's a one, one dot on one side, and then two and three. There's a four, five, and a six. And I'm wondering, what's the probability of throwing the die and getting a five? Now, when we talk about probability, we can express that as a fraction. We can say the probability of getting a 5 is going to be the number of ways we could get a 5. That would be the numerator of the fraction. And there's only one way we can roll a 5. And that's going to be divided, or over the denominator. And that's going to be the total number of things that could happen. Well, I could get a 1 or a 2 or a 3 or a 4 or a 5 or a 6. So there's six different things that could happen. The probability of getting a 5, which I'm going to write as a P for probability and then a 5 in parentheses, is going to be 1 over 6. If I wanted the probability, let's say, of getting a, a, three, a 3 or a 4, well, there's two different ways I could get 3 or 4. I could get a 3, or I could get a 4. So my probability is going to be the number of ways I could get the outcome I'm looking for. I could get the result I'm looking for. There's two ways that could happen. There are six different things altogether that could happen. So the probability of getting a 3 or a 4 would be 2 over 6 or 1 over 3. If I wanted to find the probability of getting an even number, well, on a die, there are three even numbers, 2, 4, and 6. So the probability of getting an even number would be 3 over 6. I can express probability, well, I could reduce this, first of all, that 3 over 6 could be reduced down to 1 half. I can also express probability as percentages or as decimals. So as a percent, one half is going to be 50%. As a decimal, I could just write that as 0.5. Okay? Now, probabilities range from 0% probability to 100%, or in terms of numbers, from 0 to 1. Here's an example of a zero probability. What's the probability of getting a 7. Well, there's no way that I can get a 7. So the numerator of the fraction is going to be 0. There are six different things I can get, so the denominator is going to be a 6. So the probability of getting a 7 is 0 over 6, or 0 percent. At the other extreme, what's the probability of getting a 1, or a 2, or a 3, or a 4, or a 5, or a 6. Well, those are six different numbers. They're the numbers that are on the die. And so there are six different ways I could throw the die and get one of these numbers. So there are six different ways I could do that. There are six different possible outcomes. 6 over 6 equals 1, or 100%. So there's a 100% probability that I could throw one of these numbers. Okay, so that's basically the basic idea of probability. Now, let's talk a little bit about terminology, because like anything in math, this has its own terminology. So each time I throw this die and record what happens, we call that an experiment. It's not much of an experiment, but that's the term we use. The things that can happen are called outcomes. This is a word we use every day, and it basically means the same as the way we're used to using it. So the outcomes are going to be 1, or 2, or 3, or 4, or 5, or 6. If we take all the outcomes together, we call that the sample space. So the sample space, which sometimes is just called, is just the letter S, 
would be all of the different possible outcomes. So the sample space is a set. You can write that as a set. Is the set of numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. The specific thing I'm looking for, like the prob when I say the probability of getting a 5, the 5 is a specific event. I can have a single number as an event, a 5. I could have an event being even numbers. An event could be a 1 or a 2. So when we talk about probability, the probability of an event happening, let's use E for event, the probability of an event happening is going to be the number of ways that that event could happen, like the number of ways of getting a 5, or the number of ways of getting a 1 or a 2, or the number of ways of getting a 7, divided by the size, the number of elements in the sample space. So the formula we're going to use for probability is going to be that the probability of an event E is equal to the number of elements in set E, in other words, the number of ways the event could happen, divided by all of the different possible things that could happen the size of the sample space. Okay, so that's the basic concept of probability. I'll have more videos with some further examples and different other different ways we can look at it. But basically the idea of probability is that you're taking the number of ways an event can happen and dividing it by the number of different possible outcomes that you could have. That's going to give you your probability for that event. Okay. So that's it. Take care. I'll see you next time.